guys, my name is Kevin and welcome to this new episode of SDLP and today I'll take a look at Grower from Paladins. This guy is like a Frankenstein of this game. Basically every single part of his body, spell kit or whatever you want is from another game or movie. Like seriously just look at his spells. He has a healing aura around himself, I wonder whom it reminds me. He can hook onto walls or enemies. Hmm. And his ultimate is just a strong heal over time, during which he can't attack. Nope, can't think of anyone. Just kidding. Despite his spells being pretty similar to those from Overwatch and League, his playstyle is quite a bit different. You can see that really easily just by looking at his auto attack called Throwing Axe. Grover throws out an axe that gains damage as it travels. If you like to play squishies, I've got a warning. Grover, despite being a support, packs quite a punch. If he hits you at a long range, he can deal up to half of your hit points with a single axe. Not to mention that if he crits, it can almost one-shot you. When I've been playing against him for the first time, this damage truly surprised me. I remembered him as a tank that was plainly melee and now I saw him as a support, so I thought that he will deal very little, if any damage. But after a few games I've realized that basically every single support hurts. Like a lot. And by the way, this is the only basic attack in a game that doesn't have any reload. You get a bow bitch that has to reload a magazine of arrows every few seconds, but you get a tree throwing 2 meters big axes without a need to take a break. Really high res? Next up, his right click is one of two of his spells that weren't ever changed. If you don't know, Grover has been massively changed in the past. He was originally a melee tank with loads of AoE damage thanks to his ultimate. But Hi-Rez, as always, couldn't settle down on what his Q had to be aligned. Until finally they made him a ranged support. The only changes done to the spell were number changes and the biggest change was done to its animation when he was reworked. Instead of throwing vertically, you throw it horizontally. Whoa, such a change. Overall, this spell is still low damage, slow applying nuisance. Really, nothing to see here. Next up is a skew called Blossom. Heal the Groot. Grover passively heals nearby allies for 80 health a second. Activate this ability to heal nearby allies instantly for 1000. This ability truly lets you see whether you are at higher or low rank. At low ranks, people love to see that ads instead of looking at their support stats. This usually ends up with your team running all around the map chasing for kills and you are just sitting there on objective point alone thinking about all the mistakes that you have made in your life. However, on the higher ranks, this ability is pretty broken. If you get a Grover on your team, his healing is irreplaceable and it's quite a common sight that Grover alone could heal half of your team's damage. Grot is here, motherfucker! As you might have already heard, now I'll talk about the Grover's F ability called Wine. You know what? Let's rewind the battle. Simply said, it's a vine which upon contact with a solid object or his allies pulls him towards them. Grot to the back line. Grot to the front line. Grot to your aid. Grover is one of the most mobile supports thanks to this ability. Most of the supports tend to have some kind of speed increasing ability which allows them to run away from enemies. But our Groot will rather skip to the next floor using his vine. Groot is here and there and Groot all over the place. Grover's ultimate is called Whirlwind and it rapidly heals nearby enemies for 2500 per second for 5 seconds. Wait a second. Isn't Whirlwind a move in games during which somebody continuously spins around, holding their weapon, dealing damage to everybody around them? Isn't this basically the opposite of Grover's ultimate? Like, don't get me wrong, I think it should be renamed. Anyways, now to the spell. Despite it looking quite strong, it is in fact really weak. You see in Paladins, majority of the champions has insta-killing or supporting ultimate, and Grover simply can't save his allies from that. If Grover was in Overwatch, he could save a lot of people from, for example, Roadhog's ultimates, Zara's ultimates, and so on, but in Paladins, no. If Bomb King rolls in, you simply won't save anyone, you can only run away, otherwise you will die as well. The spell by itself is really strong, but in an actual game, your Q will be far better lifesaver with even smaller cooldown, and after some time, you'll surely understand that this ability is pretty much only a waste of space. But now to the real question over here. Is Grover OP? Well, depends on your rank. 
If you are playing in low ranks, team seems to never group up. Like, alright, I know you pick Sky and you can group up, but if your team doesn't have a single tank or a single normal non flank DPS, why the hell do you go Sky? But, but I main Sky. So what? If your team comp simply doesn't have a place for Sky, do not pick her. If your team doesn't have a place for Androxus, do not pick him. You will simply be useless no matter what you do. Uh, I got kinda carried away. So now back to the group. As I said, they won't ever group up and go on to the objective. This of course does not mean that you should go there alone. Instead of doing something like that, stick to somebody from your team and heal them. Be their pocket healer. Of course that you won't be as good as for example Ying at doing that, but you'll be at least doing something other than dying. Overall he is really weak and I could even say underpowered at low ranks because of his team. However, on high ranks he is really strong or should I rather say OP. He is in fact so powerful that he shifts the entire meta around himself. You can either go Grover and have only one support or you have to go two decent supports or something like Maldamba with Grog because otherwise you simply won't have enough healing. Anyways, this is gonna be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a like. If you did not, please give it a like because I wanna know whether or not I should improve. If you already gave it a nasty like, please comment down below what you disliked about it. Lastly, if you want me to record more videos from this game or more videos from this series, subscribe to me through this video. I can always make a clickbait video that will get tons of views and tons of ratings, so subscribe is a little bit more straightforward way to tell me that you like this video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that I'll see you next time. Bye!